says that a particular network service provider charges 20 kobo per second to make a call. For how many minutes will a customer call with 120 naira airtime? Now, this is a very confusing question, but all you need to do is break it down. Now, remember, it says they charge 20 kobo per one second. That's what it means per second. Okay, so in that sense, for how many minutes will a customer call with 120 naira? The first thing you need to ask yourself is how many Kobo makes uh, 120 naira? Now, if you understand Nigeria's currency, 100 Kobo makes 1 naira. Okay, once you get this establishment, that means 120 naira will be what? How many Kobo? So it's going to be 120 times 100. So 120 is going to be 12,000 Kobo. So now you know this. Let's now look for... Now, if we know that 20 Kobo gives us one second, we now say 120 and 12,000 Kobo will be... Uh, that will be 12,000 divided by 20. Zero will cancel zero. Two here, it's one. Two into one thousand two hundred is going to give us um, six. Two into twelve is six. Six hundred. So that is six hundred seconds. But now look at the question. It says how many minutes? That means we need to convert our minutes to seconds. So once you convert your minute and um, your seconds to minutes, you get your answer. Now remember, sixty seconds make what one minute. Therefore, six hundred seconds will be. 600 divided by 60 and that will give you 60 into 600 is 10 so that's 10 minutes so our final answer is going to be um d d it's our final answer so i'll put the second one and that will take us to question 18 which says um if half the difference between a certain whole number and seven equals one third of the number which of the following is twice the number now let's get it again it says half the difference that means there was a difference it says half the difference between a certain whole number i'll just say let the number be x we don't know what the number is so let's call it let the number be x so in that sense half the difference between a certain whole number and seven so x minus seven in that sense half the difference Half the difference of a certain whole number and seven. So x minus seven, half the difference. Um, in that sense, equals one third of the number, which is one third of x. So this is what it means. So now let's solve this equation. Let's solve this question. This means this is also the same thing as saying x minus seven over two is equal to x over three. To solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, it's going to give me this. It will give me x minus 7 into 3 is equal to 2x. So this will bracket. We're going to have um, 3 times x. We're going to get um, 3x. 3 times 7 is going to be um, minus 21, which is equal to 2x. Now, collecting our like terms, um, this will be um, 3x. 2x coming over will be minus 2x is equal to 21. Now, 3x minus 2x is going to be um, that. x is going to be 21. Now, it says which of the following is twice the number? So, let's multiply our number by 2. 21 times 2, that will give us um, 42. So, twice the number is 42. And our correct answer here is going to be um, A, option A. So, that will take us to question 19. It says if y is equal to 2x in completing the table below, find the value of a and b. Now, remember, our equation says y is equal to 2x. Now, to find a, now, if y is equal to 2x, now here, x is minus 2. So when x is minus 2, so y will be that um, 2 times minus 2. So that means a is going to be minus 4. So a, it's minus 4. Then um, to find b, remember y is also equal to 2x. Then it says um, when at 
to find b when x is equal to 3 um, y will now be 2 times 3 which will be 6 so our a it's minus 4 and b it's a 6 so our final answer here is going to be a that's 4 uh, no, 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 that's minus 4 and 6. So this is the correct answer, C. So it's minus 4 and 6. So I need to remove this. So this is not our answer. So this is not our answer. So the correct answer is C. So let me circle the C. So minus 4 and 6. So that will take us to question 20, which says um, solve the equation. So um, we have um, 3 over 8, 5x plus 1 is equal to 3 over 4. Now remember, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So um, to solve this, we're going to have um, we're going to have um, 3, I prefer to put it in this form, 3 5x plus 1 all over 8 is equal to 3 over 4. So at this point, we can do our cross multiplication. So which would be 3 times 4 um, into 5x plus 1 is equal to 3 times 8. So this would be 12 into 5x plus 1. It's equal to 3 times 8 is going to give us um, 24. So at this point, we'll have... Um, um, opening our bracket, 12 times 5 is going to give us um, 60x plus 12 times 1 is 12, which is equal to 24. So at this point, let's collect our like terms. 60x is going to be um, 24. Now, plus 12 going over is going to be minus 12. So that means 60x is going to be um, 24 minus 12. It's um, 12. So therefore, x is going to be 12 over 60. Now, know that 12 into 60 is going to be 1 over 5. So our final answer, it's 1 over 5. So the correct answer here, it's um, B. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, try and hit the subscribe button so that you can get more updates from us. So um, question 21 says, given that y is equal to 3x plus 13, find the value of x in 2x plus 3y is equal to 17. Now, um, it says find the value of x in 2x plus 3y is equal to 17. But remember they said also y is equal to 3x plus 13. So while anywhere we see y, we'll put 3x plus 13. So this is going to be 2x plus. So instead of writing y now, I'll now write 3x plus 13 is equal to 17. So all we're doing is substitution. Okay, so to solve this, we'll have 2x plus 3 times 3x is going to be um, 9x. Now, 3 times 13 is going to be um, um, 39. It's equal to 17. So at this point, 2x plus 9x is 11x plus 39. It's equal to 17. So we're going to collect like terms now. So 11x is equal to, now, 17 minus 39. Because plus 39 will be going over to the other side. And that will become um, minus 39. So 11x is going to be what? 17 minus 39. So let's see. 39 minus 17. 9 minus 7 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. So it's going to be um, minus 22. Therefore, our x is going to be minus 22 divided by 11. Our x is going to be minus 2. So the correct answer here is A. A is our correct answer. So going forward, that take us to question um, 22. Now it says, um, find the value of A if A is equal to 1 over 3 BH, where B is 4.8 and H is 13. So we want to find 1 over 3 BH. Now it's 1 over 3 times our B. It's um, 4.8 and our H is uh, 13. Okay, so um, 13, it cannot be divided by 3. So let's try 4.8. Now, my advice to you is take out the decimal place. But remember, it is just one decimal place. So do 48 all over 3. Now, 3 into 4, 4 is 1. 
remaining one. 318 is 6. So bring back your decimal place. So 4.8 divided by 3. 4.8 all over 3 will give you 1.6. So when you take out the decimal place, you perform your division and bring back your dot. So this will be um, 1.6 times 13. So the same thing applies. So we're going to multiply um, 16 by 13. So the same thing, remove your decimal place. But remember, it's just one decimal place. 3 times 6 is 8, carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1, 4. 1 times 16 is 16. This is going to be 8. 4 plus 8 is 0, carry 1. Plus 1 plus 1 is 2. Then bring back your decimal place, which is 20.8. Therefore, our final answer is 20.8. So the correct option here is going to be um, um, that D. D is our final answer. So you can circle my D. So I hope you're getting everything while solving. And um, like I keep saying, hit the subscribe button so you can get more updates from us. So our uh, question 33 says um, evaluate P is equal to 9. Evaluate P is equal to 9x minus 5y when x is 7 and y is 3. So we're going to put our values. That's 9 times 7 minus 5 times 3. So 9 times 7 is going to give us um, 63 minus 15. So 63 minus 15 is going to give us um, 23. So we carry. This will be 5. 13 minus 5 will give us um, 8. 5 minus 1 will give us 4. So our final answer is um, 48. So the correct answer here is B. So I'm going to circle my B as easy as that. That will take us to question 24. Now, question 24 says if 2R minus 8 is equal to 4, what's the value of R? You can see that most of these questions are so cheap that you can append them. All you just need to do is collect your like terms, which is 4 plus 8. 2R will be what? 12. So R will be 12 over 2, and that will give you 6. Now, paper 2 is very interesting. As we've seen so far, most of the questions are so cheap. So all you need to do is practice this question. They are very easy. So play a whole lot with your algebra, and trust me, it's going to be very cheap for you. 